All right, guys, welcome back. Uh, this video, we're gonna be trying <clears throat> trying to get this guard on here. And uh, what I'm gonna do, go ahead and get this boat. It's not even real tight because I got to be able to move this stuff. All right, so this bracket that goes goes in this hole and attaches to this hole. It's currently drying, and I got to put a little orange paint on it. And I got it cleaned up and primed that one and we got to figure out this bracket now somebody's put a different bolt in here and this bracket's rusted slap off but I can kind of see it's not bent at a 90 it's bent kind of at a 45 to a 90 you know that's still being straight it's bent up from a 45 so I'm gonna have to look around and see if I can find any metal that thin. I'm gonna probably find something. I got some metals around here somewhere. That bending it's gonna be the hard part. I may just have to make up something as best I can. But that bracket will go from here to this nut right here, to this bolt rather. So I don't even have a metal brake, but I do have a vise and I do have a torch. And I got a big freaking hammer. So uh, we can get something bent. I do have a, a anvil too. So it would definitely help to have this one attached and then attach this one. Remember I, on the last video, I just barely tightened this where I could move it. May have to loosen it up some more. I was thinking it was going right there, but Tell you the truth, I ain't sure exactly how that thing goes on. Alright guys, I have figured out this bracket. And I am wrong. Probably could go back to the first video of me taking this thing apart and figure out where I went wrong, but it don't go on this end. And the reason I figured it out was I took the old bracket and kept playing around until I figured out how it went. But that bracket goes on here like that. That right there. So now I've got to take this bolt out. It's easy to forget how stuff goes on and off when you ain't done it in a while. Stick this other one back in. Alright, now, 
We got these. Up ones back here. Hey right, guys, here's what I'm gonna make this bracket with. It's a it's a PTO shaft guard off of the auger, and it's exact thickness is what this one is. And I think I just cut it out all the way to the corner. And I may have to trim a little off of it once I get it bent. But it uh, should be just a straight forward right across there and right down through this corner right here. And I'll show you what it looks like. Alright guys, here's my piece. It tells a little bit wider on one end, but I had a little bit of issues to start with. I had to reposition it. Because it just wore out my wheel. So, put a new wheel on, reposition it, got it a little more sturdy. So now you can see the way this thing kind of bends, it's, it's up but at a 45. Or somewhere, not, maybe not quite 45, maybe 30. Uh, so, we've got to replicate this bend. So I'm gonna get this on pretty straight. Mark it. And now you can see my angle. That thing's still a little sharp. I ground it off. Still a little sharp. So now what I'm going to do, and this has got to be bent in toward each other. I'm going to put it in my vise. That angle and see if I can bend it without heating it. I may end up having to heat it and bend it. So this is what it looks like after I beat it with a hammer and a vise. I just stuck it in there, tightened it up and beat her down. It did bend. It's afraid it was going to break, but it's pretty malleable. So, we got this piece and then we got this piece. And so now I just got to figure out where my holes need to be and drill some holes. These have actually got square slots cut in them. I don't know about this one. This one probably just a hole. Alright, so what I'll probably end up doing is just cutting a, a big hole in here about where this needs to be. And uh, yeah, I'll show you what it looks like. Alright guys, here's my bracket. I did have to go back and drill another hole a little lower than my first one because when I put it up here, see where this hole needs to go, it was a little high. Uh, so, I'm going to get this painted up and uh, get it ready to bolt on. Alright, here they look all pretty and primered up. Got that rusty metal brown look to them. I think, guys, I'm going to paint these. Gloss black. I'm gonna use this rust oleum that I'm gonna use on the uh, on the frame. It's a professional grade. And because I've got one can of orange left, and I've got to paint the shields outside, and I don't want to have to go buy more paint to do that. So I think it'd look good with black hats and a black frame and everything else orange. So, 
that's what I'm gonna do. Hopefully this will be dry in about an hour and I can start laying some paint. These should be dry in a few hours. It's kind of cool today, it's windy as heck. Got a second coat on that one. Went ahead and put a third coat on that one just cause I had it. So uh, anyway, we'll catch back up in about an hour. All right guys, we got them painted and they're dry and they don't look too bad and i tell you i like that paint that paint goes on good and heavy good nice even coat got the tops painted for them uh yeah i'm real happy with that paint i probably could put another coat on there but i don't see why I really it needs it <clears throat> these are still a little bit tacky Takes a long time for this orange paint to dry. It's shiny. But it's still just a little bit tacky. It ain't sticking to me. So we're going to try to get these on. And get this thing here bolted up. <coughs> Such as that. I hope that's right. <clears throat> Oof, this motor runs there. This is one of them pieces that I didn't get a good coat of paint on. So the paint's chipping. So, the only bolt I'm going to have to replace is this one. And I've got two bolts, so I'm going to be short two bolts for one of these brackets. I think I'm gonna go ahead and get this bracket put on back here because it's gonna be impossible to get to later. This one will be pretty easy to get to later. All right, so that's the best thing I can do you. I may have to bend that bracket just a little bit to make it fit, I don't know. Something's going to bend, I don't know which is going to be. Hey, well, that didn't turn out too bad. tightened it so that's good 
do pretty good for my first bracket building. Not bad, not bad. All right, we can. Well, it bent the crap out of that. Whew. Can go ahead and get this bracket on with one bolt. But uh, I don't know if I really want to fool with it. So I guess tomorrow we will get this thing outside and get it, try to get it hooked back up to the frame. We'll get the, I might go ahead and put the caps on this evening. And I'm going to clean up some bolts and hardware. I had a heck of a time getting these bolts out. I may end up having to get some more bolts. And anyway, guys, she's looking more and more like a mower. And in that box right there, I got my new canvas top for it. So, <laughs> unfortunately, I do have to do a little work on that frame you know it got bent like hell I won't know I'm hoping I can just pull it back out I may have to put some reinforcements in there to keep it to push it out but uh we'll get all that mounted after that'll be the last thing to go on be the canopy so thanks for watching stay tuned for more please rate comment and if you like this stuff and haven't subscribed please subscribe there'll be some more